What's up everyone? How's everyone doing today? We're actually back with another patch notes video with Drew I'm going 14.2 patch today. So what's up, Drew? Not much. Uh, excited to see some LCS later. Yeah, 100%. And... We're recording this like right before LCS as well. So. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is timely because thanks to Mark Z, they'll be on this. <laughs> this patch that we talk about right now is what they'll be playing on. So. Yeah, 100%. Uh, got a lot of changes for sure, um, but let's get straight into it let's, without much ado. We got Vanguard's little uh, anti-cheat software coming out live pretty soon-ish, in the next week or so, I think. And then yeah. uh, they do get rid of the Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1, um, what is it called, support. Uh, mm -hmm. So sad, very, very sad, but oh well, I guess uh, it is what it is. Windows, Windows 10 isn't good. too bad, I guess. Yeah, Windows 10, not bad. But they might get rid of that one too, so we'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Windows 7 was the best, for sure. But anyways, um, MMR matchmaking, they got a few different like little fixes there. I'm not really going to go super deep into that, but uh, I can read that for yourself if you want. I'll have the link in the description for the patch notice as well. Um, I remember watching a video and they were like, oh yeah, patch 14.1, how it landed. And there's we've been pretty happy. It's like, that's how they always start with everything. <laughs> Yeah, they ever been like, this was a disaster. This was terrible. <laughs> so maybe like once or twice, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but, yep. Alright, anyways, moving on. We got stat charge changes. Stat shard changes. These are the first ones. Uh, you want to run through these real fast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So stat shards. Um, they're updating some stat shards this patch in order to create more choices that aren't punishing when improperly selected. Um, so for... People who are like, what the heck is a stat shard? Um, <laughs> it's I, I believe that I actually didn't realize that's the what the proper um, term was. Yeah, but yeah. I, they're they're referring to like you know when you set your runes like the little little rune. I always call them like the little runes, but like the little ones underneath where it's like. Yeah, underneath you like your, your secondary path. Yeah, you, know, you get your choices between like damage resistance and like health like that kind of section that's yep. apparently those are called stat shards so um in the first slot it's unchanged so adaptive force still the same um in the second slot and this is the second row by the way um, yep. in the second slot you get um instead of six armor now you get a choice of two movement speed which is kind of nice yeah and instead of eight magic resistance you get bonus health based on level so you get some movement speed or health choices in row two and then in row three you get um just a flat 65 base health increase you could choose uh tenacity and slow resist um, which is nice i like that they they built that in there and then um you get more bonus health scaling based on level as your third choice. So um, their whole goal was to make them more like like more interesting, I guess choices. Um, and I don't know. I, I like the. I, do you? I, the one the one that really stands out to me is the ten percent tenacity. Like that one feels like it could be a pretty good one to choose. Yeah, um, for sure. Depending on if you look at like the team that you're into, and you're like, ooh, there's a. There's a good amount of CC. Like you might, you might pivot and take that one. I feel. Yeah, like. it's actually funny because a lot of people had been saying about this uh, stuff that what they heard, um, like Azale, for instance, was saying that what he heard about this, uh, like the reasons behind these changes, was because um, mages in bot lane, as it says here, um, would throw like ADCs off, and ADCs everyone dogs on them for like not actually changing their room pages match to match, depending on what they're facing. So yeah. a lot of times they would just have armor and they'd be facing a mage and it's going to be completely useless, right? Uh, for the most <laughs> yeah, part. You're right there. Yeah. So yeah. Um, they were just taking the armor and magic resist completely out of the options and just giving you options of like health and stuff. And obviously um, they changed, I believe, unflinching as one of the other secondary runes as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I believe it doesn't give you tenacity or slow resist anymore. So now this is kind of yeah. where that can re uh, rest in if you want to still have that. It's not quite as much, of course, but... Um, it's a, it's a decent amount, I guess. It's not a huge amount, but it's an option for sure. But you can actually get quite a bit of health just by stacking some of these together, like the 65 health base health with the scaling, or you could just do both scaling and get quite a bit this, of extra health later on. This is a uh, 
This is a low key buff to a. Uh, what is that new game mode? The one where you pick like your champion in your lane. What is that called? Quick play? Or... Talking about? Quick play. Yeah, this is, like, <laughs> this is a low key buff to quick play because <laughs> the biggest complaint I heard was you you have to queue in your runes and I guess that is true. Before. Yeah, you don't get to it's see like, your opponent. You don't know who your lane opponent is. Yeah, so now now it's just you know this is a this is a good good little buff to quick quick play. So yeah, for sure that makes sense. Yeah, I, th I feel like you could you should be able to maybe ban a few champions in quick play, just like three maybe or something, just to see like you can't you won't you know you won't be playing against at least those three or something. I feel like that would be yeah. a nice little quality update, but we'll see. Anyways, um, uh, basically the ten to eighty is based on level. Obviously, it's you ten level one and then it scales up to eighteen hundred eighty at level eighteen. So this means at around like level six or seven, I believe, it will actually scale outscale this um, pretty quickly. So this is like really if you need this extra health really early game um otherwise this would probably just be better in every situation but um mm -hmm. i think two percent movement speed usually most champions are going to have around like 350 ish movement speed roughly somewhere like between like 325 and like 400 ish um so you're getting about seven ish um movement speed yeah. from that pretty much most of the time so it's like some it's almost uh what is it slightly magical boots but yeah yeah yeah. So I don't know. It's definitely some nice options. I overall I do actually like this um, because it means people can't just like stack a ton of armor, or a bunch of magic resist, or anything like that, or both even um, as options. So it, it means t people aren't quite as tanky, which I think is relatively a good thing overall. And also it means um, magic pin and armor pin is going to be even better. So there you go. Yeah. And then they. Um... Yeah, I think I agree with that. And then they had to do like a compensation buff that you see here because uh, a lot of yeah. junglers rely on that that armor shards Definitely, to, yeah. to kind of help with their clear. So they gave a higher heal coming from the pet. Um, and I, I don't I don't think that it's like going to significantly change things. I think it's just going to keep it the same. Uh, to yeah. Make up for the armor being gone. So that's yeah. That seems that's fine. It's just like. Two, plus two basically at all levels yeah. per second so yeah, i don't yeah, think it's, it's huge nothing, but it's nothing it's crazy definitely nice i guess but uh, yeah we got smolder is going to be releasing looks like january 31st um so not quite we still got a few more days at, at least a time of this recording um till this guy's released but we got that to look yeah, forward to pretty soon here and up first we got ari we got a charm buff and the cooldown's going for 14 seconds to 12 seconds. Um, like they say here, they did uh, change and remove a lot of ability haste off of a ton of different items um, in the new season. So this is just kind of compensating for that a little bit. Um, so, yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. I think this is probably a good thing, but I do play a lot of champions where I like to dash in and uh, her just point blanking R, I mean E, is uh, kind of annoying. So this is going to be even up a little bit more often. <laughs> yeah yeah for sure her uh her win rate was pretty low so i feel like we'll see if this this brings her okay yeah for sure like back in back in line uh blitzcrank uh who was one of the top three supports after 14 one dropped okay um right. they're they're bringing down his armor by a bit so you'll be able to kind of harass him more in lane gotcha uh so 40 to 37 and then power fist um, which is like his follow-up typically that he uses yeah. a lot to knock you up after a hook or something. So it is the damage on it's going down. Um, kind of down. It's down. As, I guess it's significant. It's down 20%. Yeah. His um, total of his well. total AD. Yeah. So I think um, they're just trying to like not get rid of his identity as like a, being a really annoying hook champion, but they just don't want him to have maybe the follow up damage, um, which I guess makes sense. He he was like terrorizing solo queue, so yeah, his E is a very yeah. strong ability. I actually don't like personally. I don't like this change. Um, I don't really care how strong he is. It's one of his only abilities that's like makes an AD version possible. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. as well as um, I don't know. It's just it's a really fun ability. But yeah. uh, I guess it is. Maybe you could argue it's a little bit overtuned, so I suppose it's okay. But I think it's pretty rough. I think the down three armor is fine. That's probably good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's 
All right, moving on. We got a bunch of Briar changes once again. Uh, uh, here yay. <laughs> so apparently the Lethality build has been too strong with uh, everything going on, so they want to move her towards Bruisery type stuff. So got the he Healing Amp is going from 0.5% from per 1% uh, missing health, and then it is at now 0.4%. And it also has, it looks like maybe this is added on now, um, which is 0.025% per 100 bonus health as well. And then, so it's kind of like, if you build Bruiser, you're going to have more healing than before, basically. So that's fine. Um, yeah. And then bleed tick rates. Uh, actually, all you need is really, what, I think that the math is like 400 bonus health. And you've already have this. So... You're probably going to be building more than that, that much bonus health anyway if you go in Bruiser, so it's probably yeah, what you like should be. Yeah. And then the bleed check rate is now what from one second to half a second, so the total bleed, total bleed damage and duration are unchanged, but it just um, ticks a little bit faster, so you can actually see like the extra damage like every half second instead of waiting the full second to see that. And then we got Q, the head rush, um, is going, I believe they're changing the actual damage output to magic damage. So now, um, basically this won't scale off of, uh, of, uh, lethality, lethality basically. AP, yeah, exactly. AP, yeah, yeah. And they're actually adding on an AP ratio that wasn't there before oh. as well. Um, and then okay. defensive reductions, they're changing it from just armor reduction to armor and magic. What were you going to say? So it's interesting they're adding, I wonder if we'll see her build... Uh, it's probably not enough to see like a weird. I'm trying to picture if there'll be like a weird AP variant. <laughs> there could be, probably, honestly, but, but maybe <laughs> <laughs> hard to say for sure. I wonder yeah. if her W scales off of um, any AP because if it does, like the healing part, I mean, that would yeah, probably yeah. be. I, I could definitely see an AP variant coming out. But uh, Q now applies on hit effects and life steal as well, so okay, uh, okay. you can do like Sheen proc and stuff off of that as well. So that's pretty nice i actually didn't know that that was not the case so um that is that's pretty big actually all right and then next we got the w blood frenzy is the last item or uh, ability they changed here bite heal is going from 36 to uh, 60 percent of damage dealt to now 25 to 45 percent of damage dealt depending on rink and it also has a five plus five percent of briar's maximum health added on as well so it is definitely a nerf to the damage dealt but you do if you're building bruiser or tanky uh, or just health basically then you'll actually heal pretty decent amount i would say i'm not sure the exact uh, math there but yeah uh, and then they removed the less critical strikes which is w now no longer critically strikes for bonus damage um uh, it can still cr critically strike like a basic attack for a hundred percent of total ad so it looks like just w doesn't crit anymore basically I mean, it does, but yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not crazy. Not too crazy. Uh, Camille here. Camille. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the reason why. Um, I guess we'll see when we read, but I've seen two Camille supports this week in my oh, games. Okay. Um, but I guess we'll see these changes and see if it, if it makes sense. Um, <laughs> so Camille, her base health is up. Um, it's a Good, good little chunk from 646 to 670. So yeah. she's got a little bit extra health to start out with. Um, her adaptive defense passive um, cooldown is down by two seconds at start of the game, is down by a second mid game at level seven, and then it's the same late game. Um, so just that shield will be up faster. And then uh, Q precision protocol. Um, that's percentage, so it it could be pretty nice early. It's going up a full ten percent at rank one. Yeah, uh, the movement speed you get from it, and then it, it it eventually comes back in line at max rank. But the early ranks, you know, you're you're getting a good percentage boost of movement speed. So, um, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they say it up there. She she was on the use Divine Sunder. Like she was a big Divine Sunder person. Yep. So that item being removed kind of hit her harder than other people. Definitely. Um, so I don't know. When I read this, I don't see anything that screams support Camille. So maybe I just nah. met some some crazy people um, this week. <laughs> well, but, you know, back uh, in the day, they they used to do it. So maybe they were trying it out. I don't know. I I feel like yeah. it could be definitely viable, but I'm not sure how viable. <laughs> 
but yeah, like the um, the changing the terrain in the top lane uh, made it a little bit bit wider. I think uh, the the river yes. area is actually wider in the bottom lane as well. But you do have that like, eh, actually I don't know, it's about the same pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't know why they would play, put her support, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I'd have I don't play Camille, so I would just have to take him at their word. But yeah, I guess maybe some of the angles or the way she used her hook shot. Um, is just awkward or, or not viable um, with the terrain update. So Yeah, it's harder, um, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're just trying to give her a little bit extra boost. Yeah. All right, so moving on. We got Darius, uh, actually buffs here. <laughs> so, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, look out for this one. It's actually pretty big, honestly, I would say, um, but it depends. Uh, Q decimate mana costs going down five every level, basically. So that's really nice, honestly. The the first level is just 25 mana cost for that. And then um, healing based on missing health per target is going from 13% per, ter per target to 15% per target. So that's now up from 39% max to 45% max. So it's quite a bit. It's basically Gore Drinker. And all basically, if you do the math, that's just three targets you have to hit. You don't have to hit their entire team for that. So um, it's pretty big. Pretty big healing. Yeah. Um, wow. And then the E Apprehend is also getting, I think it's plus five every level, uh, percentage armor penetration. So this can be pretty big, especially if you stack it up with like um, uh, Black Cleaver or stuff, stuff like that as well. It can be quite a lot of armor pen, actually, that you just get for free. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty big buffs. Do you have any thoughts on this one? I don't know that he needed. I don't know that he needed this many buffs. Yeah, but, uh, I mean neither. Okay. <laughs> um, they said right. like, the drop in power from Stridebreaker, but I don't. I don't think that's really that big of a deal. No, like when they say Camille suffers without Divine Sunder, like yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I can see that one. Definitely, but I don't. Definitely. I don't know if he's suffering that much without Stridebreaker, but okay. I would expect to see a lot of Darius in your solo queue. Yeah, I would say so. There's also another champion down here that you're going to see a ton of, and I'm not talking about Karma. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Ezreal um, got some buffs. So, yeah. Uh, pretty much everything. So um, mm -hmm. they say that a lot of tools Ezreal liked to build, like Ravenous Hydra and Sereldas, being much worse on him than before. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, they kind of kind of give them a little help here. So let's see what they buff here. So um, the AD scaling on his Q is up by five percent. Um, you know, not not too crazy. Yeah, the, pretty nice. Though. The W um, here is also getting a damage increase. So it's now a hundred percent of bonus AD instead of sixty. So that's um, that's actually quite big. Forty percent bonus AD increase. Yeah. Um, so his W definitely dealing more damage and then true shot barrage, his alt, um, is an up in 20% bonus AD damage as well. So he's just going to be hidden harder across the board. You can see like the, the damage flat damage. Yeah. Is also up on true shot barrage. Yeah, a little so, bit. um, yeah, all this stuff is going to be hidden a bit harder and, um, the, the alt damage is nice. Like. It, it definitely is nice for him, but the Q and the W, I think, are bigger because he's he's like spamming that stuff in lane. Mm -hmm. um, so that that extra damage on both those is going to add up pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I don't remember like. exactly what they changed on surreal. Let me let me remember real fast. Yeah, like to make it not as good for him. Uh, add or below fifty percent of their maximum health slows them. Okay, so they have to be below uh, fifty percent health basically. And it doesn't yeah. give. I think it gave thirty percent armor pen before as well. So, um, that's a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, obviously it scales with lethality now, but still. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, yeah, so that yep. that makes sense for sure. Definitely hits him. And Ravenous used to uh, be with abilities as well, and now it's only auto attacks like it used to be. So. Yep. Um, yep, yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, these are probably. I mean, they're obviously good for him, but um, I think with like you said, we'll see down later. But uh, Karma buffs as well as Ezreal buffs, we're probably gonna be seeing those quite a bit. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty uh, well established duo lane. <laughs> yeah. Too, so. All right. Up next, we got uh, Fizz. Looks like nerfs, I believe. Um, so we have down five percent on his Q uh, on the AP, and then it says note hundred percent. AD physical and on hit effectiveness is unchanged, so that's good to know. Um, but yeah, 
that's a nice little nerf for him on his Q. I don't think it's the end of the world, but definitely hurts him a bit. And then WC C Stone Trident. Um, the total magic damage over time is down by 10% with the AP scaling. Um, so yeah, just nice little hits to him. He's been terrorizing quite a bit, I've heard, so. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> strong, so that feels fine. That yep. feels fine. Yep, yep. They've hit him a few times, I think, as well. Garen buffs from the look of it as well so um yeah i guess following the same logic with darius um around stride breaker so they yep, yep. are um changing it's uh, well i guess this is like it's a nerf early and then a it's a, a buff w early. active duration it's a buff early yep, and a yep. slight nerf just at the last Later. level, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's how long his W damage reduction lasts. Um, in other words, double at the start of the game, like at rank one. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then once you get late game, it's a little bit worse, but I feel like that's fine. And then E his uh, spin, so damage per spin, <laughs> um, is up, and you can see the percentages. It's a percent increase. So it's. Um, on the scaling, yeah. For yeah, it's a scaling percent all the way up until it comes in line at max rank. I don't know if he maxes. I don't. Do you, how much Garen do you play? I don't know if uh, not enough. An but I think I think they put one. I could be completely wrong. I think it's one point in Q and then one point in W and then one point or then max E. Okay. And then if you're going tank max W and then if. I think that, W is usually third, third max, though, so usually. So this is, like, a nice little buff for him to get that yeah. very a lot sooner. And obviously E is, like, most of his um, damage, and they are wanting him to play Conqueror and not Phase Rush. I know that uh, they've said that a lot um, because Phase Rush yeah. is very un, yeah. unfun to play against, I guess. <laughs> Makes yeah. sense. And you do, you do have to also, I guess, take into account this is his damage per spin, and he spins... Yeah, uh, a like lot, and even times. more if you so, get attack speed. So, <laughs> yeah. Yep, so yep. yeah, it's, it's it's actually probably gonna be a good, good little boost in his in his damage. I'd say. Yeah, I would say so for sure. Um, all right, and moving on, we got another Gragas update here. Looks like I believe it's a little bit of a no wait no it's buff it's a buff. Uh, we got armor growth up by point two, and then health growth is going up by six health per level and then we have an r update the cooldown is actually losing it's going down 20 seconds uh and then it's going down 15 seconds and then going down 10 depending on level um so it's pretty nice he gets access to that access to that a lot sooner so yeah there you go a little bit durable as well <laughs> what? No, not bad not bad gwen hello gwen uh passive increased uh damage increase so you're going to have to do some math here. But, uh, <laughs> if these percentages seem like not a big increase, um, it could be deceptive. It is only up by a little, like from 0.65 to 0.72% per 100 AP. Um, but she does build. I don't know like if uh, how much AP a late game Gwent has, but it's... It's what you have to remember is it's like factoring into the percent of targets max health. So yep. even if it doesn't look like a big percent, it could, if you're hitting a tanky target like late game, it, it actually could give you a lot of extra. Yeah, I want to uh, say, I'm not sure about new items, but I want to say you can get about like three to 400 HP. So that's about mm -hmm. three ish, three and a half percent on top of the one percent. So it's like yeah. four, 4.5% ish. Yeah. Um, and then, when, but... like I said, when you factor, if you're hitting like a health stacking tank like that's gonna be it's gonna be a good good amount of extra damage there yeah yeah it's pretty good and of course they're just actually reverting part 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 of mm -hmm. the nerf that they did last patch as well so i think i want to say this used to be 75 percent then they went down to 65 and now it's up to 72 i'm not okay. really sure about that but that sounds about right so so still like a overall nerf but just not as harsh not as harsh for sure yeah makes sense makes sense all right and then next up we got Hui adjustments as well. I believe they're actually buffing him still, um, which I think is probably... I think he's relatively balanced. People just have to get the hang of him, but I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah. 
but yeah, they are giving him more buffs here. We got the E Subject Torment. I still haven't tried this champion out. I really got to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the cooldown is going down by three seconds early and then one second late. Uh, but yeah, just down quite a bit early, especially. Um, but yeah, the cooldown's just up a lot, a lot sooner. And then the EQ Grim Visage. Uh, the flea duration is from one seconds at all rank to one to 1.5 seconds, depending on rank. Um, so the the flea is just getting a lot, a bit longer. I guess not a lot longer, but yeah. Nice little. I haven't, I haven't seen him that much in solo queue, so. Yeah, um, I think yeah, he's it's pretty to... high mastery. I think uh, so. Yeah, that's why it's hard to tell with him if it's he's the champion's not strong or it's just the E's just hard to play. Yeah. It's yeah. Hard to, definitely. To but I, th I think he's pretty good, honestly. Um, but we'll have to see for sure. I, if they are still buffing him, they'll probably have to start nerfing him pretty soon once he gets to, you know how they go. They like once he gets about fifty or yeah. more win rate, <laughs> it's gonna. He's going to start getting nerfed again. So. Yep, 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 yep. But, yeah, pretty much when a champion releases, they usually have, like, a, a slow gain in win rate from, like, pretty low. And then they start going, like, climbing, depending on how high of the mastery the champion needs. Um, so once they start hitting around where they want, they start nerfing it. But we'll see. Uh, moving on. Elawi. Okay. I had an Alawi in a game yesterday on yeah. the enemy team, Same. and she was uh, a total raid boss. <laughs> uh, we like could not kill her, so let's see what they did for Alawi here. Uh, mana is up by 50. She gets more mana, 10 from 50 to 60. Health is up from 109 to 115, so that's like, how much she gets um, each level. And her passive... Uh, missing health heal upon each tentacle hit is up by half a percent. Um, so 5% of missing health is healed per tentacle hit. But you got to remember, she she normally has more than one tentacle. Um, I think when she alts, she's got just a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, totally. Um, that, that heal can stack up very, very quickly. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, overall, she's going to be um, a lot more tanky, especially when alting. Yeah. I, I believe she used to use Divine Thunder quite a bit, actually, so that's yeah. probably, um, they're probably burping her a little bit because she lost there. that, but yeah, um, they don't say that anywhere or anything, that's just my guess, but um, yeah, I think she's that's right. definitely getting quite, getting a bit stronger. I wouldn't say they're like huge, but this is actually can be pretty, pretty big, depending on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, next up we got some Jax updates here, uh, Gee Counter-Strike. Looks like they are nerfing the minimum damage. Um, the flat damage is going down by 15 at every rank, it looks like. And then the percentage of target's max health damage is going down by 5%, or 0.5%. Um, this says the maximum damage values are still two times the minimum damage values as well. So something to note. The um, That actually does mean that, yeah, the, the max damage is also getting nerfed a bit here as well. But yeah, it's definitely definitely getting nerfed. I think this is probably fair, but um, it might hurt him a lot. It's hard to say for sure. But yeah, did he you know? Feel strong. <laughs> did you know that he had a percentage of targets maximum health, maximum nope. health damage on his E? No, 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 I had no idea. <laughs> I feel like they did. They added that in when he they had a the champion update with his ult and everything. Maybe. But I do yeah, not remember that know. at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. Why it's it hurts quite a bit. <laughs> yep. All right, and then here you got your you got your your girl here. <laughs> yeah, so I've been spamming this champ quite a bit this week. Um, Karma got some pretty good buffs here. Um, her health is up to start the game um, by about thirty, like twenty six. So that helps yeah, her be a little, little bit. bit more durable in some lane matchups. Um, and then the big big changes are. On her wow, Q, you can see the, the percent scaling. It's from 50 <laughs> to 70, um, which makes AP stacking very, very viable. Um, and then the Q, or sorry, the E shield um, also from 45 to 60. So those are kind of her two main abilities. And I think this, this probably makes her viable um, support or mid because now you can stack AP in the support position or you can stack AP as a mid and, and be doing a good amount of damage. Um, 
and the tech is you take um you take malignance and then you just mantra Q like a hundred times in a row. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, yes. um, what is I, the, the cooldown on it with the, all the ability haste that gives you the old ability haste? Um, do you know when you, yeah, yeah. When you hit the mantra Q, um, on a target and then you have malignance, you're, it's got like a five to six second cooldown. Wow. That's yeah. insane. So, so, so if you're like, if you now if you miss the ability, like you miss the mantra Q, um, it's back up to like 15 plus seconds, but as long as you keep hitting them, you can just like spam chain them together. Um, yeah. And each time you do it procs the malignance like damage. That's burn so and... crazy. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. didn't even think it's about nuts. that. Actually the mantra Q actually reduces it as well. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, crazy. It's pretty nuts. Um, I would uh, expect you might see it in LCS today. And then yeah. I would expect they might take a look at that. Item I think so. Interaction. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, karma good. Play karma if you uh if you know how to play karma. Now's, <laughs> now's the time. Right. I think LS also said like you were saying the lanes. I, I obviously he's he's a little bit more experimental, but um he was yeah. saying you could take like top mid or uh, ADC and support pretty pretty easily. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I could, I could, I could definitely see it. see it for sure. <laughs> but yeah, all right, cool. And then uh, up next we got Karthus updates again. I think this is the second buff in a row. Um, yeah, 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 I think so. He, I believe. Anyways, uh, his Q is getting a damage increase. Actually, it's just pretty nice. This is his, his main ability for sure. So, um, up by two at level one, and then up by ten at the final level, but it slowly increases per level. Um, so yeah, I mean definitely. I think definitely pretty big, honestly. Um, but we'll have to see for sure. And then the W Wall of Pain is magic resist reduction is actually going up by 10% as well. So if you walk through that bad warrior, if he plunks it on you, yeah, you're going to be a lot of uh, a lot less, a lot lighter on magic resist. <laughs> and it actually is, um, what do you call it? It's like carve kind of. Uh, what's the word? I can't think. Um, Shred. It's, it's actually shred, so the entire team actually can uh, can uh, take advantage of the magic resist reduction as well. So, if you have other AP users on your team, yeah, yeah, no, no pretty no nice, sense. pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, Rumble. What do we got going on with Rumble here? So, Q. Um, this is. Probably his main damage ability. Definitely the one he uses to farm waves, all yeah. that good stuff. Um, it says, I think it's a typo at the top. Um, cause see how it says Q damage increased? Yeah, yeah, it is. But it's, yeah, it's definitely, he, he's been like very strong since the new season. So it's actually a slight decrease in his his Q damage yeah. um, by like 10. So. Uh, just kind of cutting his wave clear, his like his main damage ability down by a bit, um, and then I think it's also probably good his E, which does the magic resist shred, um, is just down percentage wise as well by two per rank. Um, so just yeah. taking a little bit of power out of Rumble, which I think is good. He he's definitely been one of the the like I feel like S tier top laners to start the season. So probably good that it's reduced by a little bit yeah for sure and then uh some little things about rumble as well is that he can actually put two harpoons in someone and yes, that yeah. can actually double up on this magic resist reduction and actually i'm not 100 percent sure about this but i was hearing freak talk and um you know how he overheats i believe when he's near his overheat um his abilities actually do more, more damage or something yep. like that so i believe you can actually get this at previously up to like 60 percent or something like yeah. that um, so this is actually overall a pretty, pretty decent size. Now. I mean, it's not the hugest, but definitely in the yeah, effort there, yeah, for sure yeah. there as well. Just to take into account. And then next up, we got some Shin updates. We got a buff here for his base attack damage up by four. Um, this is, I think, pretty nice for him. Um, I think Azale or someone was saying, I'm not sure exactly if this actually means you don't have to Q in order to last hit the ranged minions. I think you still do, but uh, just something that he mentioned there as well. So this is going to be pretty nice for him, I believe. Uh, yeah. 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 Nice little buff. You play a little Shin or no? 
I play a little Shen. I, I like him. Uh, I, I play him in the support role every <laughs> once in a while, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think yeah. you were uh, River Shen too, right? A little bit or not? I might have played River Shen once or twice. He's a good guy. Good guy. That yeah. <laughs> um, let's look at Timo. Timo uh, is getting on his E. Uh, he's getting a nerf um, off the AP scaling by 5%. Yep. And so that's on his hit. magic damage on hit. Um down by five percent and then his everybody's favorite ability in <laughs> league of legends um i i think they missed a slash in... <laughs> yeah, there's an extra zero here <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness that's <laughs> what uh yeah so they uh they changed it up so the charge time um is from 30 25 20 to 35 30 25 so just a yeah. five percent uh increase in how quickly you charge up your your mushrooms that you can plant so the charge um, charge time yep yeah the charge charge time yep. <laughs> <laughs> good good one good job <laughs> yeah uh definitely pretty nice nice uh, this is only on hit damage so the e burn as well it's and still, the it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. unchanged there as well yeah so that's just yeah. like uh if you but you do get usually nashers i believe i don't know if you do it nowadays i think you actually rush malignants into like Grab, but or uh, what's the other item? Rallies or something like that. But mm -hmm. or not rallies. Uh, what's the word? The burn one. Uh, uh Leandris. Yes, Leandris. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think you're actually rushing uh, Nashes anymore. So the on hit is actually it could be a decent hit there as well. So interesting to note. And then uh, next up we got Twisted Fate is getting basically overall. We'll go da got down the little uh, changes here, but. They're basically making ADTF like actually viable now, um, built into the game. So honestly, this actually does buff AP uh, Twisted Fate as well. And I was already seeing him played, I believe, a few times last week before this this patch went live. So this is, I think, Twisted Fate is going to be pretty. It could definitely see pro play, I believe. A um, few pros are playing, uh, including like Medios. Um, but I think. I think this jam is going to get quite a few bans as well, especially for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, they are changing the base stats, so the base attack speed is going down a little bit. The um, the attack speed, attack speed ratio was unchanged, but the just flat that he starts with was a little bit up, so now it's a tiny bit down. But he does get um, another attack speed growth nerf, just slight a bit there, 0.22%. Uh, less per level, so it's a little bit there. He does get quite a bit from his E already, though, and I believe that it's actually getting buffed as well, yeah, so we'll get there, but basically um, his passive loaded dice is uh, now going to get, like, when you critically strike, I believe when you kill the minion with a critical strike, you actually roll an additional six-sided die that is weighted towards one rather than six, and that die number actually gives you a little bit extra gold. So it's not like a huge amount because it has weighted, weighted towards the lower end this time, but um, it's definitely a bit of extra gold just basically for free there. So um, Q wild cards um, is now getting an AD, uh, bonus AD ratio on the Q. So now basically people, I believe what they're saying is with they're going AD twisted fate, you would put no points in Q and just go W oh. and E and mostly, I think mostly E, but yeah. Um, now you can, you actually, it's actually worth putting at least one point in Q. And I think you, you're probably just going to sit on like one point for a while and then max it last. But um, because this is just a scaling type of thing, like it's not a flat amount that scales up per level. Um, so yeah, you probably do want to put at least one point in Q now for that wave clear. And then the W pick a card is also getting changed a ton here. So um, the blue crits, uh, there's going to be a 0.575 critical strike multiplier added. So it increases the damage by up to 57, 57.5% based on critical strike chance. I believe that's at 100% crit strike chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then red crits got the 0 0.350, so a little bit less than blue. Um, multiplier added, that's up to 35% additional damage. And then the gold crits are 0 0.250, which is about up to 25% additional damage. And then they also added a couple of quality of life, quality of life adjustments, locking in a card now refet, resets Twisted Fate's auto attack timer, which is actually honestly a pretty big buff. 
Um, this yeah. cannot be underrated at all. <laughs> this is a pretty yeah, big the buff. Yeah, auto attack reset is, is big. Super huge. And then the quality of life adjustment as well is pick a card now affects inhibitors and the nexus. So um, you could use them on turrets previously and champions and everything else, obviously, but you wouldn't be able to use them on inhibitors and nexus. Now you can. So it's extra damage to, to rush down stuff. There's your back door. Um, <laughs> yep. yep, yep, yep. And then... Uh, E stack deck is actually getting unchanged for the bonus attack speed level one, but uh, every level after, especially at the end, you're actually getting 20% bonus attack speed as well. So nice. pretty pretty nice. And then the uh, damage on the actual E is uh, getting a, a bonus AD ratio, which is 0. 0.75 or sorry 75% bonus AD ratio. So it's actually pretty pretty large amount, um, and it just didn't have that at all before. So that's pretty big buff. Um, and then the quality of life adjustment stack deck now affects turrets at half per, uh, 50% effectiveness. So now you're just going to do a bunch of extra damage to turrets for free. And then um, quality of life adjustment TF deck now becomes fully stacked on spawn. So you're automatically going to get that first auto attack once you level up the ability, I believe. Yeah, yeah something yeah, like well. that. So really big, big buffs. Do you have any thoughts on this one? Um... I welcome our AD TF overlords. Um, I think it's very healthy. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I think I think it's it's super broken. Already doing it, so um, yeah. yeah. He he's he's a champion that I think people were originally picking just for the ultimate, but you had to be like really good about uh, like map awareness. And yeah, I think this is gives him more viability if you just want you know what i mean like maybe you're not the best at using the alt but um you have a lot more choices now as far as how you could play him in lane which is which is probably good but i do think it'll be quite strong <laughs> so yeah I, I believe so as well uh, we'll yeah, have to see i'll probably a, have to try it worth it, a ban. But, yeah. worth a ban. definitely i think it definitely worth a ban <laughs> depending on the champion you play i think if you're a, a ranged like adc mm -hmm. or um well even maybe AC, but like a mage i don't think you're I don't think it's the worst thing ever, but it's pretty sure. it's pretty rough. I think they'll probably be nerfing this, but we'll see. That's a nice little buff there for him. Um, Vagar... Oh, sorry. You can go ahead there. <laughs> oh, Vagar. A uh, huge one. Nice here. and swim simple. Uh, 30 more health at <laughs> base. So he just gets 30 more health to start the game out. Uh, nice and simple. Yeah, that's not really that big, but it's something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, items. We got a few different stuff here. Um, we got Let's see. Items. There. What do we got item wise? Ooh, uh, I do like that Blood Song is being tagged. It says, uh, "Yeah, uh, that that was a pretty abusive for the champions that could go this. Like, it, it was pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so they're just tuning it down by two percent." But yeah, this was this was like your champions like um, like I saw like Senna, Pike, um, like eighty damage dealing supports were going this, mm -hmm. and it definitely. I, I think I played against a Senna that had the old pre nerf one, and she did like the most damage in the game or something. <laughs> so this item was definitely very very uh very strong. Yeah, I I definitely agree as well. So that's pretty big. I wonder if you can stack this exposed damage with like a PTA as well. That'd be pretty. Seems to be pretty nuts, probably. I think you can. I think you can because I I believe it stacks with like, um. What's the? It's not banner of command. The thing that looks like the little. It's like a banner though, and it does like the damage, increase for your allies. Uh, Imperial Man. Zeke's hero. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Imperial Man. <laughs> yeah, I think it like stacks with that. I'm pretty sure. So I think it just stacks with other. Nice. Um, other weakness increase type things yeah all right nice that's yeah that's a nice little nerf there if definitely needed and then we got experimental hex plate getting a buff here i believe kind of depending on how you say see it um it is actually going from noon quiver to hearthbound axe which is a little bit you could argue a nerf and um i want to say I, I no i think it's the same price actually but um yeah it is going to Hearthbound Axe, so you're not getting that extra like little movement speed buff that you would get from Hearthbound Axe, as well as Noon Quiver is a little bit easier of a build path, um, just cheaper items. So we'll see. Not not too much easier, but it's definitely a little bit. And then the attack speed from the passive, basically, it, 
it's going 5% into the actual item, so you're getting an extra 20, extra 5% on the actual item, and then when you bolt, you're getting 5% less uh, attack speed. But that's, I think it's a, it's a buff because you just get it all, basically all the time, as opposed yeah. to just when you ult, yeah, which yeah. is usually not as yeah, much. Yeah, feels like a buff. So. Feels like a buff. Yeah, pretty nice for sure. And then Frozen Heart. Um. Yeah, this is a good item. So yeah. um it's a pretty good item. So they're just increasing the gold to twenty four hundred. Um which I'm trying to decide if that's gonna be like enough. It feels like every single tank in the game right now just like gets this. Yeah. Um, so I think that's still gonna happen, even with the extra hundred gold on top of it. But I think so. I could too, be yeah. wrong. Um but they might I think they might have to just like relook at maybe some of the stats or effects it gives, but um, I guess this is a good good start to trying to bring that more in line with all the other tank items. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, I I mean it feels a little bit bad, but I just worry that they're gonna eventually bring it back up to like the old price, and then they're still gonna yes. have the twenty ar- armor that they lost from it, which is gonna yeah, be yeah, an yeah. overall nerf from before. So yes, for sure. Hopefully they because it used they to look be at really it. expensive. Um, yeah so hopefully they don't they don't overdo it yeah we'll see we'll see uh i think it was like 27 or 2800 and then it had 90 yep. armor and now it has 70 or yeah it was like i think it was 2800 i think it was 2800 yeah yep. yeah so it's only 400 gold cheaper now than it used to be so for 20 less armor which i think i'm pretty sure that's not very good <laughs> yeah. but we'll have to see either way uh it's still a pretty cheap item but yeah Horizon Focus. We have uh, the passive hypershot and focus range requirement is now down from 700 to 600. So that's very short. That's like less than Caitlyn's auto attack range, or it's yes. about the exact same as Ash auto attack range. So very, very short, honestly. Um, so you can get that proc pretty easily now in a lot of different champions, not just artillery mages, um, which you already could, but like still a lot even better. So. <laughs> And then the passive focus AOE reveal radius is going up by 200 units as well, so you get more vision off of that. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yep, yep. Um, Phantom Dancer, they're just reverting Phantom Dancer back to build out of zeal. Yep. Um, I didn't realize it didn't build out of zeal this season. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think it makes sense. To, it's always built out of zeal, so it just makes sense. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, they're just reverting, so it does again. Uh, makes sense. Yep, pretty good, pretty good. All right, and then the Riftmaker, very simple. They just got an extra 100 gold added on. Looks like this is a very uh, popular and strong item, and it makes sense. Um, so that makes sense. Also, I do want to add a little bit something. Uh, when I said Leandries was actually nerfed in the previous patch, I didn't realize that you could probably just stack Leandries and Riftmaker and just actually have a lot more damage because Riftmaker's buffing your your damage as well so that i don't think technically it would be nerfed um now when you combine if you combine it both but the just the add-in by itself i would say is a little bit worse um but we'll see Uh, people are buying it a ton and i think brand has like a 57 percent win rate or something jungle so i don't know i think it's pretty good still but (laughs) you don't have um demonic embrace anymore but you do have this with the demonic embrace like one of the passives so yep. not both just one of them but yeah <laughs> all right steel sigil oh let's see it is just down by 100 gold um and it says due to that decrease in steel sigil gold costs um so this is a kind of combined cost for items building out of it, such as Death Dance and Guardian Angel, have their combined costs increased by 100. Total yeah, that makes sense. Changed. Yeah, so nothing significant there. It's just um, they just say they make it 100% gold efficient, so it feels better <laughs> to purchase. All right, nice. feels good. It's a tiny bit cheaper, so you can get this a little bit sooner. About a way yep. forth of sooner, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretty nice. And Ooh, this item. Storm Surge. We're finally nerfing it. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll have to, we'll get some more nerfs in it, I think. But um, this will be this will be good for now, I think. Ability power is going from 100 to 90, and then passive the squall damage is um, on melee. It is going down by 10% AP scaling, and then on ranged it is going down by 
7.5%. So nice little bit AP scaling damage nerf, um, but it probably is going to need a little bit more. We'll have to see. Apparently everyone's basically buying this, and that's yeah. not what they want, so makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Yeah, stride breaker um their goal is to have this be an item that is good for low mobility fighters um and if you remember they kind of called out that's why they had to buff garen and darius and all that um, yeah, yeah but they're also buffing stride breaker as well so the attack speed you get is up by five percent and then it's down by 100 gold in terms of cost so um just when you look at like these buffs, you also have to keep in mind that they buff a lot of the champions who like to buy Stride Breaker as well. So overall, like it's gonna be maybe more impactful than it even yeah. seems this like on paper. Nice. Cause, yeah, yeah, it'll it'll stack with the champion buffs too. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, support items. The gold penalty now applies globally to anyone who has a support item in their inventory. Additionally, every champion with a support item now contributes toward hitting the minion penalty. So just double support item is not a thing anymore. Just stop doing it. <laughs> they don't want this to happen. <laughs> so yeah, simple. And then bounty adjustments. Do you want to go over that? Yeah, bounty gold. Um... 20 to 80 percent of a player's bounty is reduced uh depending on team gold deficit so that is being changed to 30 to 90 percent is being reduced depending on team gold deficit um so basically if you are if your team is like losing significantly um but you're performing well the bounty that you can give over to the end other team will be less yep. um, if i'm reading this right yep, absolutely is, i think that's a good change because it never felt good to be like the one person on your team trying to like carry your squad back into it but you're like well if i die i give over a thousand gold bounty like then it's yeah. you know what i mean like that that felt bad so i like yeah. this uh i like that they're they're kind of amping up how little you have to worry about that so that's nice definitely i like that for sure and then Infernal Drake adjustments, got ability haste per Infernal Cinder is actually doubling, so it's going to put from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. Um, I feel like this is... I don't know, Have you? How, what do you think about the ability haste, like little cinders you can pick up? I, I feel like it's pretty I, nice. I was, on, I was on team... Well, maybe because I, I like, I've been trying to like math it out, because I'm, I'm not sure how much they give you, so when I... Mm. My imprecise science, but the couple times that we got the infernal rift it seemed like every like three to four little cinder shards i picked up would increase my ability haste by one yep. um like roughly so i guess now like every, every two basically. one to two will yeah. increase it so that that feels pretty significant like yeah it's basically gonna double the haste you're getting from it which which feels pretty pretty nice yeah that's awesome i like that all right, and then we do have a lot of gameplay quality improvements. There's a few important things in here. Um, so like uh, Kane's like heal R now heals even if the unit dies during the channel, but there's a lot of different other stuff that everything um, everything happens. Terex E now ghost units during the cast. Uh, there's just a lot of different really important things in here. There's actually some, some nice little buffs here as well. Uh, and some bug fixes, obviously. These are all like really big. Um, Timon's default about adaptive force is now ability power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's like some actually really really large things in here. Obviously, everyone just go ahead and check this stuff out. I like the not the Chogas stuff. So his R mm -hmm. now grants uh, extra cast range per stack. Um, so it just it's a little bit feel better because it, it actually is a very short cast range. But um, at 10 stacks, you can now have extra 25. So it's a little bit there. It's not really super game changing, but it's pretty big. And then uh, the R attack, uh, attack range per stack increased is uh, by that amount. <laughs> and then uh, it looks like the tooltip now displays a range increases if you hold shift for more info. So that's pretty cool. And then we do have Fizz W applies uh, to structures at 50% 50 50 damage, but it doesn't apply to inhibitors. Um, a lot of stuff like that was in this uh, patch as well. So like Jax W and R now applies to structures at 50% damage, which is like really huge. And then Vayne Q 
um, I believe, no, that already, that already plaqued. But another thing, uh, Trundle Q has 25 bonus range, and Volibear Q has nice. 25 bonus range. Like, they're really actually quite nice. Quality of life, of course, but um, changes for sure. Like, Brands Pass and now damage every uh, quarter second instead of every full second, which is really super, super nice. Feels good. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just know. a lot of really good stuff there. Definitely check that out if you have the time. We've got some Arium changes. Um, and then uh, what the lightning round win games before 10 minutes win games for 30 oh so these are I guess uh, challenges maybe no yeah, I think so yeah early surrender is removed so you can, you can only just normal surrender now it looks like so interesting stuff there Fisher uh, we have a brand visual effects update on these these skins and the base and then we have a clash coming up it looks like uh, Ooh, or nice. Actually, it's today and tomorrow. Oh, but anyways. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> and then we've got some practice tool updates as well. Pretty nice little stuff there um, as well. So that's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it for us. Uh, we have a few other like quality of life adjustments and things that you can have to check out if you want. Um, but that's pretty much it for us. Thanks for joining me, Drew. we got some nice little skins here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. See if you can tell the cool. ch actual champion by just the splash art. It's kind of hard, <laughs> except for Vi. Yeah. <laughs> Vi is pretty obvious, but yeah, otherwise. I thought this was Graves for a second. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Do you have the three honors, Akshan? I don't. I think I feel like you probably got that as well, right? I did. I did. So I that's got pretty it. cool. Very honorable. Yeah. Yep, very yep. honorable. We got a new uh, Smolder skin coming out, and then four scene Yasuo. It's like a kind of like aged skin, the gray yeah. hair and everything. So that's cool love those uh yeah that's about it for us like i said thank you guys for watching we'll catch you in the next one peace